I recently shared a video about uh, the project we've undertaken at the house since coming back. And one of the things that we have done is to install solar. I cannot emphasize enough for anyone who has intent of coming to settle back in Zimbabwe or for that matter, anywhere on the African continent. I think it is a wise thing to think about investing in solar. When we first came, it was maybe three, four days after arriving here at the house, we had 11 days of no power, of no electricity. Yeah, 11 days. Um, if you've been uh, in places where you are used to having electricity, to have all your gadgets running through electricity, uh, and then suddenly you have nothing. It, it was tough, it was rough. We had of course our torches, candles um, so we could see you know you could see your way to the bathroom <laughs> uh, see your way to the kitchen but uh, everything else was darkness and it was rough honestly uh, 21st century we rely on some form of power to provide us with lighting and I want to emphasize, re-emphasize, if you are coming to Zimbabwe, if you are intending to settle anywhere on the African continent, um, solar is the way to go. I think it's uh, the new thing with even the developed countries. People are putting up solar panels so that they can save on the electric bill. Everyone seems to uh, realize that clean energy is the way to go. And uh, why not harness this form of energy? We have lots of sun, lots of sunlight. I couldn't tell you in terms of hours how many hours we have of sunshine, but we do have plenty of it, even in winter. There is enough sunshine to be able to have the solar powers, solar generated energy. So we've done that. The uh, company that we've used, I am the light of the world and the gentleman by the name Harold is the uh, one who installed our solar. Thank you so much, Harold. Since the installation, we have uh, pretty much had lights every day. I don't even know when Zessa, as we call it here in Zimbabwe, I don't even know when, when it's on or off. Um, I know because uh, the system is set up to alarm when there is a surge of power from uh, the electricity supply. And uh, I know when there is Zessa that way. But we are pretty much on solar since it was installed. Recommendation of uh, this company came through uh, people that I rely on, people that I know very well that have had their solar installed by Harold and came with very good rec recommendation and I have no complaint with the work that he did superb we have had i could not even <laughs> tell you how much joy having lights in the home at all times has brought i'm able to sit back in the evenings and relax on the couch and uh, do my uh, video editing or whatever i want to do on the computer and there is light in the house so it's it's really exciting i have no doubt that once you have invested in solar you will find how good it is to have it now i'm not gonna go and talk about the technical side of um 
um, the solar system. I'm going to let uh, my husband, Zizai, uh, share that part with you guys. Uh, all in all, it is not a bad investment to have solar. I, I, <laughs> I keep repeating myself. Any intent to settle on the continent in Zimbabwe, please do consider having solar. It is the best thing ever. So I'm very excited that we have solar. We are using this form of energy, clean energy, on our property, and it is working very well. Zimbabwe is one beautiful place where throughout the year you have sunlight, you have sunshine. So it is not a stretch to say that installing solar is a good investment. So here's to the, the continent. You can have reliable energy, readily available. So I would say go for it. Please make your plans and incorporate having a solar system as part of how you would settle in your home. And speaking of energy we've had to work on this old house it's an old house that we have built i believe maybe in the 50s i'm not sure but it's an older home and all the electrical installations at this home were very old uh, the cables were not covered they were just bare all over running up and down the uh, ceiling so our electrician very capable electrician uncle jack d <laughs> uncle jack d has been working really hard installing new wires in this old home to make sure that we are safe where he's had to strip the whole house of all these old electrical cables you know that's one danger about old homes that the system of electrical installation i think prior to 1975 the electrical uh wires were installed without sh sheets i don't know what it is called with without coverings so they are bare if anything would happen to the house, if there would be an electrical fault and there is a spark which is generated, the whole house would just pretty much go uh, because everything is bare. There's nothing covered. There was nothing covered, I should say. So Uncle Jack D and his... Uh, Uncle Jack D and... Uh, his mate have been working really hard to ensure that our electrical system is safe in the home. And uh, he will explain a little bit. I'll show you a little clip where he explains what they were doing. Uh, trunking is one of the things <laughs> and he'll explain that. But those are the forms of energy that we have. Our main source now is solar and we still have the electricity. Uh, so that uh, when our batteries are not fully charged or something, you know, goes wrong, we have the electricity is, uh, the regular electricity is back up. But I look forward to the time when we go completely off grid. And, uh, we have the rainwater collection system that uh, we are still refining to also make sure that we use the free water <laughs> that we collect when the rains fall. This year is particularly great for rainwater collection. There's plenty of rain, lots of rain. To anybody out there who is coming up to the continent, solar, solar, solar. Just get that, uh, that plan. To get solar um, I will 
leave Harold's information down below so that uh, if anybody wants to contact him or found, find out more about uh, how he does his installation feel free to get in touch with him but in the meantime I continue to document my journey I hope you're enjoying the videos put some comments share the videos subscribe 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 i want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed to my channel i am ever so grateful i hope to continue to provide you with meaningful information about relocating to the motherland and uh, your support is greatly appreciated thank you very much if you're new to my channel Thank you for stopping by. Hope to continue to see you. If you've been here before, thanks again for watching. I'm just sharing my journey back to the motherland. I'm in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. This is home. And I hope I can inspire someone else to be able to take up this journey. Come on, come on back. Africa is calling, Africa is waiting, Africa is beautiful. Let's all come back. Come back. <laughs> and uh, uh, let's enjoy this, uh, this continent. You know, it's amazing to see the number of other nationalities, other races that are embracing the African continent. And it's quite disheartening when you see us, the Africans, continental Africans, Africans that we uprooted from this continent, people of African descent, when we help perpetuate the stereotype that Africa is inhabitable, Africa is a jungle, it's poor, poor. it's everything that is negative. It is very sad. The truth is, there is no place that doesn't have problems the world over. Africa has its own share of problems. So does Europe and North America and Asia. But Africa is not the worst of the worst. There are beautiful places to settle in, to visit. And the aim is to let you all know that you can do it you can come visit you can come and stay here you can come and explore and enjoy this continent in its entirety choose a place any place in the in africa i am in zimbabwe landlocked but still beautiful there are coastal countries that are doing very well there are so many beautiful places that we should be looking at and embracing and, and uh, letting the world know that we are just as good as anybody else and we are striving to do better to make better of this continent so why don't you be part of this change why don't you be part of this journey in making africa the greatest in making africa a power to reckon with so come on back. Thank you for watching.